The quasi turbine turbine engine is a proposed pistonless rotary engine using a rhomboidal rotor whose sides are hinged at the vertices. The volume enclosed between the sides of the rotor and the rotor casing provide compression and expansion in a fashion similar to the more familiar Wankel engine, but the hinging at the edges allows the volume ratio to increase. Unlike vane pumps, in which vane extension is generally a important and against which the pressure acts to generate the rotation. The quasi-turbine contour seals have a minimal extension and the rotation does not result from pressure against these seals. Patents for the quasi-turbine are held by the family of Giles St. Hilaire of Quebec. As well as an internal combustion engine, the quasi turbine has been proposed as a possible pump design and a possible Stirling engine. It has been demonstrated as a pneumatic engine using stored compressed air and as a steam engine. There are at least four proposed designs. Two port with carriages, suitable for use as an internal combustion engine. Four port without carriages, suitable for use as a pneumatic or hydraulic engine, steam engine or pump. Two port without carriages, a conceptual design which is hoped to combine some of the advantages of the existing two and four port prototypes. Another conceptual design using a fixed charge of gas with no ports and without carriages, as a Stirling engine. Dot. Two port with carriages. The earliest quasi turbine design used a three wheeled carriage to support each vertex of the rotor. The wheels of these four carriages, making 12 wheels in total, ran around the periphery of the engine chamber. A prototype of an internal combustion engine to this design was constructed and enthusiastically reviewed in European Automotive Design magazine September 1999. The prototype was turned by an external engine for 40 hours. However, ignition with fuel was never achieved. If it was attempted no results were ever released, and development work on this design was suspended. Photo detonation. The two-port design with carriages was proposed to make possible a new and superior mode of combustion, termed photo detonation by the quasi-turbine inventors. This resembles detonation, as used in the Burke engine, akin to knocking and pinging undesirable in common internal combustion engines. As of 2005, no research has been published supporting this claim. A related idea that flame transfer would be possible through special ports is similarly unsupported. Four port without carriages. The second quasi turbine design is greatly simplified to eliminate the carriages. At the same time, the ports were duplicated on the opposite side of the housing, thus converting the operation from four strokes per cycle to two and doubling the number of cycles per rotor revolution. This mechanism has been demonstrated running as a pneumatic engine using stored compressed air and also as a steam engine. This is also the design proposed for use as a pump, and particularly as a supercharger. This design uses redesigned blades, longer than those for a similar sized housing of the first type owing to the absence of the carriages, and lacking the distinctive crown contour. Only the basic road geometry is common with the earlier design. A pneumatic engine of this design was demonstrated powering a go-kart in November 2004 and another powering a small car in September 2005, both vehicles using stored compressed air to power the engine. As of 2005 a pneumatic chainsaw driven by an air hose from a conventional external compressor is under development, with a suitably redesigned housing to allow for thermal expansion. The same rotor design has been demonstrated as a steam engine. Another potential variation of this design uses the two sets of ports independently, one as an engine and the other as a pump, thus potentially integrating the functions of a pump and its driving motor in one shaftless unit. One restriction of this usage is that the two fluids must
must be similar. It would not be possible for example to drive an integrated air pump with hydraulic fluid, as the rotor design is significantly different. As of 2005 no prototype of this variation has been demonstrated. Two port without carriages. This third design combines aspects of the first two. As of 2005 this design is conceptual only. It has not been built, but is used for purposes of illustration. If built it would not support photo detonation. Many other designs are possible within the patented quasi-turbine model, with or without carriages and with differing numbers of ports. As of 2005, which design will be used for further work on the internal combustion version has not been announced. History Professor J. Ignacio Martinez Arto from Universidad Pontificia Comillas made sketches of an adaptive rotary compressor in the mid 70s which led to the construction of a railway model missing a proper rotor dynamic solutions. Lately, new researches were carried out by four researchers led by Dr. Giles St. Hilaire, a thermonuclear physicist consisting of members of his immediate family. The original objective was to make a turboshaft turbine engine where the compressor portion and the power portion would be in the same plane. In order to achieve this, they had to disconnect the blades from the main shaft, and chain them around in such a way that a single rotor acts as a compressor for a quarter turn, and as an engine the following quarter of a turn. The general concept of the quasi-turbine was first patented in 1996. Small pneumatic and steam units are available from the patent holders for sale, or hire for research, academic training and industrial demonstration, as is a book describing the concepts and development of the design. Demonstrations have been undertaken on an air go-kart in 2004, on a PUQ air car in 2005, on the University of Connecticut brash steam car in 2010, and other products. The patent holders have announced that they intend to make similar internal combustion prototypes available for demonstration.